Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly forecast. Great to see you guys and I hope your week is getting off to a great start. This forecast is for the week of July 31st through August 6th. That's a Monday through a Sunday. And uh, this is for all signs, but I do have sign specific information at the end. Also, just a reminder that I'll be putting out 12 new videos this week, uh, one for each sign of the Zodiac, and those are really detailed videos. Uh, and hopefully that will give you sort of the meat and potatoes of what's coming through for this month, uh, your roadmaps, so to speak. This is your compass to that roadmap, okay? So for the week of the 31st, your channeled information was to not give up. I have uh, one word that sort of sums it up, which is diligence. But the mental image that I got that helped inspire this word is the idea of running a marathon. And if you've ever watched a marathon on TV or looked at the Olympics and you see someone in that last stretch of a long distance run um, or a very, very long sprint, you notice that you'll see a struggle going on between different athletes. Some of them are like shaking and falling to the ground. Some of them are going slower but pushing and some of them get that second uh, breath of air where they finally think, oh my God, I can do whatever I wanna do. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's gonna happen. Um, no matter where you fall on the spectrum, this is about looking at how far you've come and that you only have a little bit more to go. And even for those of you that are beginning your race, then it's about pacing yourself and staying uh, busy but not getting to that point of shaking because you used up all of your energy. So if you're at that last stretch and you kind of think you can't pull it out of anywhere, this is saying somewhere from deep inside you're gonna find that energy and you're gonna do it. And again, if you're at the middle, keep, keep on keeping on. And if you're at the beginning, this is great because you can actually pace yourself and be smart about it. So I want you to be diligent, balanced, and uh, aware and perceptive of how far you've come and how far you need to go. And basically the pacing is what's important here. It's not about finishing in a certain order, it's about finishing. So I want all of you to finish whatever paths or uh, goals or aspirations you have set out for yourselves. And, uh, and remember that at the end of the day, at the end of all of our days, I really believe that we are the ones that judge our lives uh, because if you believe in reincarnation, which I do, and even if you don't, um, we're still gonna play a part in our own, our own sort of assessment of our life and our life journey. So be kind to yourself, be strong, and just push through so that you can get these things done. You'll not regret it at the end of your days. All right, let's now take a look at your blessings for the week. Blessings are the higher energy, the uh, higher frequencies, the opportunities in a very good way that are going to help open up um, all of your potential. So your high frequency card for this week is to focus on uh, not only sort of boosting your own immunity through proper diet uh, and through proper sleep, but also feeling this sense of, I know this sounds weird, but there's almost like the soul sense that I can handle whatever I, what's coming my way. A, a feeling that you are with proper guards and protections, you are immune to the negativity that surrounds you. And that's really what light workers, highly sensitive people, uh, and those of us that are waking up have to do is it's this, if you don't believe that you, you can move forward and that you are strong enough to, uh, to kind of like deal with all of the negativity and the challenges in the world, then you're not gonna make it. Um, so the good news is you will make it and it is possible. But what I'm saying here is that you have to believe in the same way that you know you can finish the race that you're strong so i'm the one here this week that's going to remind everyone that you have the capacity to do what you want you also are strong and you're going to do what you need to do to protect yourself i want you to feel that you are immune to negativity and that will be your sort of homework if you choose to accept uh for your for your meditation practice this week is a feeling of pulling like golden light around yourself and thinking to your thinking inwardly that I am safe, I am sound, I am secure, I am not going to succumb to other people's uh, fear, doubts, or inhibitions. I'm going to be stronger than that. And so um, build your own immunity, both in your, uh, in your biology, in your blood, etc., and then also in your etheric and subtle body as well, okay? Your opportunity, your challenge, potentially your obstacle for the week is it's actually believe <laughs> We've got this beautiful favorable outcome card, and it's it's reminding you that uh, that no matter how things turn out, there could be some sort of a perceived disappointment or an unexpected turn of events. 
I want you to believe that this is actually going to help you. And so that's your challenge is to take news that may not otherwise be perceived as good news and see it as um, a blessing, not a block, because we got a very positive message for that. So for many of you, I'm seeing that it's not going to be a week that's burdened with many blocks. Um, but for some of you, there might be a hidden blessing that comes through as something that you didn't expect, a delay in travel where maybe you end up getting a discount because of an, a mistake that the airline made or, or your travel agency. Uh, there could be some sort of a delay at work and uh, you actually realize you're going to not have to do that project or you get something else coming through. Delays in timing are gonna be favorable uh, and other sort of blocks or delays may actually open up something that is going to suit your situation better. So stay, um, stay optimistic and try not to let one setback get you get you down because you don't know where this is going to lead and it looks like it's going to be something that's going to favor you instead of um, put you in a place of discomfort or unhappiness. Okay, now let's take a look at the seven cards that are going to show us Monday through Friday and the weekend. So we'll give this one more good shuffle and then take a look at the week and weekend. Okay, uh, I really like the overall energy that I'm seeing. Only a couple of days that look a little bit tricky, but otherwise pretty good. Uh, we're starting off with major changes and shifts happening from, uh, from most of you on Monday. The Wheel of Fortune upright is showing that, I think because we're right at the end and beginning of a new month, this makes sense, that you're ready to, uh, to change perspectives. And this is a great day for dealing with money, contracts, announcements, and also for, for saying anything that's important. Uh, whether it's I want to and I want to be friends with you I want to date you I want to get married or dissolving partnerships as well so a day of major announcements major changes and if you've been waiting to do something waiting to release something uh, Monday's a very good day for that so overall pretty good the only thing that I want you to be careful of is it is possible for a small oversight to um, to pull you off track so this could be you forgetting to you know, sign a certain paper, piece of paperwork, or um, maybe, you know, there was something that you needed to do that you promised that you were going to do uh, that someone's going to check up on. So just make sure that if you have a to-do list or any sort of tracking software that allows you to see what you're doing, that Monday's the day that you deliver on everything. And, and then again, for those big changes, it's great. Good day for money, good day for finances. Uh, when we look at Tuesday, this is a day where I want you to rest and, and step back a little bit so you can be as active and as communicative and even a little bit aggressive when it comes to making changes on Monday as you'd like. But when we look at Tuesday, you'll notice this Five of Swords. And the interesting thing is usually Five of Swords has somebody looking over their shoulders. Uh, on this one, you actually see someone tiptoeing around uh, someone that's experienced a, a defeat or a setback. So if you're the one that's feeling like you've you've hit a roadblock or um, something hasn't gone the way you wanted. Remember, your block of the week was this could actually be a blessing in disguise. If there's someone else in your life that is going through a hard time, maybe lend them a hand. Give them, a, give them some assistance. Or, you know, this happens. It's not the best reaction, but sometimes we celebrate when someone is down. This card is reminding you that everybody suffers, even, even someone that you perceive as your enemy or you have animos animosity towards, this card is saying, um, take the higher road and either don't say anything or realize that there's, there's, a, there's a flip side to this. There's a human being behind the facade. And we're in a culture right now where a lot of times, you know, whether it's a gossip magazine or, um, or the water cooler at work or just you talking about a friend that's, that's down on their luck, you don't know what they're going through. And there, there is a humanizing side to it as well. So have compassion step aside that could be you one day and you don't want people doing the same thing that, that you might be wanting to do otherwise this is saying um, don't don't spend too much time thinking about what isn't working about um, engaging in lower frequency thoughts fear doubt or doing anything that is lower frequency take it easy keep your mind focused on work that's the diligence card and rest tonight uh, rest on Tuesday so when we're looking at Wednesday we have 
three of wands, very favorable. One of the best days of the week actually for productivity and also for things that have taken a long time to maybe manifest. You either start to get an idea or a cue that, hey, it's actually going to happen or you just feel internally like, I, I see this happening, the end is in sight. Um, I, it's a great day to make plans, to set goals for yourself, for uh, your life at work. Uh, so it's a day for projection and also a day for seeing some sort of a return on your efforts. I'll pull the card, I'm um, sorry, the camera down so you can see the other cards. As we're looking at Thursday, we have this uh, card of abundance here, three of cups. Great day for getting involved in any sort of social activities or activities where you're going to meet friends or family. Very good day for celebrations. Uh, the only thing that you wanna be cognizant of this day is uh, again, not overdoing things too much. Three of cups doesn't concern me as much as the nine of cups. Usually when I see this, it's a good news day. So Thursday, if you haven't uh, also given yourself a chance to sort of relax, this can be a day where you treat yourself to something like a uh, massage or you know maybe have, have an extra fattening dessert or something. I don't often say indulge, but this is a day where you could do something where you celebrate the progress you've made. You don't beat yourself up and you think, you know what, I've worked hard to earn this, this moment of happiness. Um, with that being said, uh, Friday is also a very good day. This is a day for some of you when you are going to have to remind yourself why you're working so hard. This is when diligence comes in again. Uh, the Nine of Wands is a card where you're, you're super ready for a change to happen, but it's not necessarily going to happen on that day. So whatever it is that's coming through, maybe you know you get you get news that a promotion that you've been waiting for isn't going to happen just yet or that you're gonna to have to wait a little bit longer to buy a house or um, or that there's something in your life where you thought that you'd already crossed that finish line but this this day reminds you you have a little bit more to go so this is saying okay you just have a little bit more to go yes it's not great it's not the news you were hoping for but it's not bad news either so um, this is a card of qualification as well and for many of you, it's a card of overqualification. So if you're in a, in a relationship or a friendship or a work situation where you feel like you're doing too much work, find a way to communicate and ask for assistance. It's not so much about pointing fingers. It's more about saying, hey, you know, I've, I've been putting in a lot of effort in these areas and I would love to get your input. And I really need to take a little bit of a breather because I'd like to focus on this other part of the project or whatever. So that's a way you can do it in a... In, in a manner that doesn't feel like you're pointing fingers and also that allows other people to do their job and to, to basically participate. So uh, in relationships, the same thing holds true. You can say, you know what, I've, you know, I've, I've done the last sort of six or seven grocery runs. Can you help out tonight? I really just need to take it easy. It's going to be a long day at work on the weekend or something, or I just need to rest tonight. Could you, could you handle this for me? So if you do it in that way, it's not, it's not sort of pointing fingers. It's, it's saying, this is your turn. Can you help out? It would be nice. That, that's the sort of energy you want to embrace. Um, okay. As we look at the weekend, I like it a lot, actually. Uh, Saturday is a day where, first of all, I think a lot of you will be super busy, even though it's usually a day of rest. I've noticed over the past month or so, uh, the weekends have been more productive for many of you or have opened up opportunities for many of you uh, if you choose to not sleep in. But yeah, with the Prince of Wands, good day for... Um, setting down new goals, talking through things, planning things out. Also a good day to do any sort of road trips or traveling that you might uh, have thought about. Um, basically starting to take your ideas and bring them a little bit further along or to communicate them to others. And big shift coming through on Sunday. So we saw one change happening on the 31st. I see another one happening on the 6th. And this is, this is even a little bit more major. So perhaps something that you've been waiting for uh, you get the news you've been waiting for that day. Or even if it's not what you were waiting for, you get the confirmation uh, that you sort of had tucked away in your mind and you were just waiting for the sign. The sign comes through. Uh, it's another good day for travel. So actually all of the weekend I feel is really good for movement and also for finances with the universe, the world card. This is about taking things and thinking, all right, I'm now ready to move on to the next step. You let go, you embrace the new, new that's coming through. It's also a card for some of you that are looking for publishing distribution and major announcements. 
I see two opportunities, two windows. So one is at the beginning of the week on a Monday. The other one with it being Sunday is probably prepping for the following week. Um, but you have two really big chances where if you had to announce something, Monday and Sunday are looking very good for those. All right, so let's pause now and get ready for the last part of this reading, which is going to be uh, one card and one piece of channeled information for each of the signs. So I'm gonna stick with the same deck because I feel like it's, um, I love the energy and I love the, the simple messages that are on it. Uh, and so just as I did last week, I'm going to channel information first and then pull a card for confirmation or further sort of uh, information for the week for you. We'll start with Aries and for you, the main message this week is self-awareness. And this is really about stepping outside of yourself and thinking about how others are perceiving you and how you can better sort of fit into uh, situations. It's not so much about empathy. Uh, it is actually about how you're being perceived by others. And so uh, step back and think to yourself how things are sounding, how, how you're doing in your marketing, if it's, a, it's sort of you're more business oriented and thinking about, am I reaching my customers in the right way? And in your relationships, think about, uh, I mean, it's more empathy when it comes to the relationships, but sometimes we just don't understand how our words or how our actions are coming across. So it is really focusing on effective communication, being self-aware of nonverbal cues, and, um, and really maximizing all of those things to convey your true uh, desires and, and innermost sort of ambitions in a way that are going to come across positive. All right, so now let's take a look at your card, which is gonna be supplemental information. And so we have the tower, and that fits nicely with the fact that there might be a need for adjustment in those areas. Uh, but it's also a great card for shifting and opening up new things. So don't be afraid to change, and maybe there's been some resistance to change because the, the, um, the tower card often comes through when we know we need to do something, but we're waiting for sort of like a big sign. So here's your big sign, um, but don't panic about it. It's really about small tweaks in the way that you communicate or the way that you hold yourself or speak that are gonna have really positive outcomes if you choose to embrace them. All right, so let's take a look now at Taurus and temperament is actually what's coming through for this, um, for you. Uh, and I think that really means staying as even tempered as you can and not feeling that you have to, I, I'm sure we've all been in situations where there's a family member, a coworker, a friend that knows exactly how to push your buttons. And even when you know that they're doing this, it's, it's almost futile because we're in this sort of passion play where we let it unfold and we get upset and the words come out. So for you, I wanna say this week, it's really important to pause, like count to two or three in your head before you say something or respond to somebody. Um, even if things are going really well because it may not be about losing your temper, it might just be about them being able to try to, on a subtle level, uh, manipulate an outcome. So what you do is you think to yourself, Hmm. Are they asking about this or this? And you can even ask that too and say, let me just clarify. I want to make sure that I'm understanding why you're asking this so that I give you the, the right answer. Okay, so uh, pause, be even tempered, and don't be afraid to ask for clarification. It's a good thing. And your, um, your supplementary information is this Ten of Wands card, which is saying that for many of you, it's time to, to release and it's time to move on. Um, Ten of, Ten of Wands, if we look at the upright position, is a card of usually getting ready to um, take a trip, move, um, look for something that's more satisfactory. And when the card is reversed, it's feeling like the whole world is sort of on your back, that you have all of this pressure and you're not even remotely sure of where to begin. So what I would say is uh, allow yourself, again, with we talked about pausing, counting to two or three, before you sort of give in to that emotion, think to yourself, is that is that real or is it just sort of me building things up to a point where uh, I don't have to deal with things? Or, you know, before you walk away, make sure that you've decompartmentalized the emotion from the reality. Um, but I do feel like it's time for many of you to step on and move forward. So don't be afraid to make the plans. And if you, if you were looking for a sign that it's, it's the right time to make that shift, uh, the Ten of Wands in reverse is showing me that you're almost a little long in the tooth in making that change. So go ahead and make it. All right, so let's now take a look at Gemini. Um, so I get this sense of uh, many of you wanting to take a vacation, a break, or uh, I, I, I see you playing this week uh, and realizing that that is going to open up your creative energy. Um, you're gonna be easier to 
not only sort of easier for yourself to sort of be happy, but easier to get along with, I have to say that. So I want you to do something this week that um, is just for yourself, that allows for that playful energy to come through. And I think it's important for Gemini to, to have time to like let, let all that stuff out of your head. Um, sometimes you can overthink. And so I don't care what it is, whether it's like, um, you know, going out to see a performance, you know, or a movie or just going out to dinner with a friend. Put some time on the calendar just for you or for you and some friends and decompress. That'll be a very good thing for you. Your uh, supplementary information this week is for those of you that are really trying to, uh, to make strides towards higher education, getting a certification or just somehow growing your own intellect in some area. This is great. You should keep doing it. I think that taking a night off in conjunction with working hard is going to be very key. So keep up the hard work in, uh, in sort of expanding your skills and expanding your mind, but also take time to relax because if we just work too hard, then at the end of the day, you start to lose. It's like diminishing returns. Um, the other thing with this is I see money situations improving for many of you. Eight of Pentacles shows a uh, slow and gradual growth, but growth nonetheless. You see her harvesting um, some of the fruits of her energy and effort. So keep up the good work. And again, I think that's why some of you, it's A-OK -okay to take a break this week if you want to. For Cancer, so it's about collaboration for many of you this week. And in a way that's more leaning on people, leaning on support, asking for support, not being afraid to show, um, I'm, it, like we see vulnerability as weakness sometimes, but uh, it's not. It's basically just a chance to ask for help. And however that feels authentic to you, go ahead and do it. Don't be afraid to open up and, and just say, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling like I've given this, you know, I, I tried to solve this in every possible way. I really would appreciate your insight. You always have great insights on how, how, to get, how to get through a situation. You can ask it in that way, or you could literally just say, oh my God, I need your help. Whatever you need to say, use your words and use something that's authentic to you. But I see it's a week when you do so much, you care so much, and you feel so much for others. You're one of the most empathetic signs. Um, this, this week, I want you to just say, hey, I need help, you know, give me a hand, okay? So for Leo this week, uh, I do feel like there's a lot of creative energy that's coming through, but there could be a block when it comes to uh, trusting yourself and, uh, and acknowledging that you are also creative or you have the same abilities of, of someone else in your life, whether it's you know a best friend or a peer or a coworker or a brother or whatever. There's someone in your life that might be shining a little bit brighter and it makes you doubt yourself. Um, I want you to embrace your beauty, even if you're not getting the validation from the people around you. In, in some ways, that's actually making you stronger. You don't see it at the moment, but you have exactly the same uh, beauty skills and, and, uh, and energy to kind of bring out to the world as someone else in your life. They just might be getting more attention. So just know you'll have your moment to shine as well and to not lose hope. Your supplementary information is for some of you, that's going to mean needing to step away from that person in your life that maybe has a habit of not letting you shine. So if that exists, I definitely want you to step aside from that. This is also a card of decision making. It's not bad. It's not always about breaking up, um, but it is about a very dis uh, decisive point in your life, usually one where you decide, I don't want this. So if you're at a point in your life where you decide, I don't want this job, um, I don't I don't want to do this anymore. I'm ready for this. Um, this. This decision card comes through when that's happening or when that energy is happening. So Leo, don't be surprised if maybe by the end of the week, you have a very clear sense of something that you want or don't want. There's usually no middle ground with justice reversed. Um, upright, there's middle ground. Reversed, it's usually polarized and it's usually towards not wanting something, which you can also flip it around and saying, what, when you know what you don't want, you're, you actually know what you want to. So I see a little bit of both of that coming through for Leo this week. So for Virgo, so I, I actually am getting an image of like replacing, uh, like moving something and putting something in its place. And so that's a strange image for me to get, but what I see for some of you is uh, a need to try something that is brand new in your life.
to take something that is no longer working and to basically plug in something brand new. And also this is a sign about getting some of the early retrograde shadow coming in where if there's anything that you need to take care of, this could literally be sort of like uh, repairing the house, replacing something uh, in your car, or even doing something in your body if you were looking at doing some sort of a surgery or whatever. Very good week for you to kind of plan that out and looking at basically being proactive. Proactive repairs, replacements, and for some of you, this might be a, a chance where something that was missing is suddenly no longer missing because that replacement also shows that the whatever gap was there is now filled. So, all right, let's give this a quick shuffle and see what your supplementary information is. So we have death and rebirth. That fits nicely as well with what we were talking about. So if there's anything that's not working, then allow for something new to come in. And notice how the bold is actually on the opportunity, not on what is leaving you. Um, so. I, I, love, I love it when we actually see a death card that uh, is focusing on the transformation because that's really what, what this card reminds us of is, hey, something needs to end, something needs to start. And when I was channeling replacing or basically something that was stagnating, that makes a little bit more sense. So if there's something that's stagnating in your life, uh, this can also even extend to a relationship, then this is about letting it go or finding something better because the replacement can also be about um, taking something or someone in your life that isn't meeting your standards too and thinking all right let's let's try this again okay um, but the other thing I want you to do this week is to take care of your health um, so I mentioned a little bit about health but whenever I get the death card it's usually about not moving enough there could also be some other parts of your body that um, need to be sort of detoxed or flushed out so you can talk to your doctor about that you can also get a, um, a physical if that's something you haven't done in a while so Libra, your channeled information this week really revolves around closure. If there is a, a situation in your life where you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for some sort of an outcome, I believe this is the week where you know that it's time to take a, a next step, whether it's shifting things up so that you're, you're not basically doing the same thing. Um, because at a certain point, it becomes clear no matter where, what you're doing that if you're not getting the intended outcome, that there has to be some sort of a change of plan. So I think this week I want you to do a little bit of soul searching and if necessary, course correction uh, for those of you feeling that you're stagnating. For the rest of you, it's a chance for you to think about something that you're just truly ready to, um, to move past. So it could just be, you know, you, maybe you broke up with someone a couple years ago and then all of a sudden you realize now you're not thinking about them anymore or you quit a job and suddenly all, all of a sudden it's no longer stressing you out. Or there's something else in your life where you decided you wanted to try something, but maybe you realize you're happy with what you have. Whatever it is, there's been an opportunity or something that you've tried, and now you realize, okay, that really wasn't what I needed, or I need to do this so that I can get it. But the closure is going to happen so that you can move on. Without closure, you're left in limbo, and if you're left in limbo, you're not actually moving forward. So uh, do your own soul searching and figure out what's necessary for you um, to really get the closure that you want and need in your life. And, um, and we'll see what, what can happen for you. But let's give one more shuffle and I wanna see what your supplementary information is with the cards. We have Eight of Cups, beautiful, um, beautiful card that kind of really supports what we're talking about here. This is a card of returns. And for some of you, you might actually get a second chance. And this could be what gives you the closure that you want. An unexpected call from someone that you maybe emailed or called months and months ago, or uh, an old boss, an old lover, an old friend comes back into your life. Or you connect with someone that feels like you've, you've known them forever. Um, whatever it is, there's a sense of nostalgia mixed with, ah, I can finally move forward because I know this. I got the confirmation, I got the acceptance, or I got the rejection, whatever it is. You got what you needed, and, uh, and it's a chance to move on. But with Eight of Cups, one thing that's really kind of cool about this is if something happens in your life that you feel like, gosh, it really should have happened, this card shows you that it's not a lost cause. So for those of you that aren't ready to let go of a dream in your life or something, whatever it is, this is saying, okay, you're going to get another opportunity. 
uh, it's also a time marker and it's showing me that that second opportunity, uh, there's two windows that I see. One is um, by the end of the month, you should know. And if not, it's probably next, like the, the second quarter of next year. So for Scorpio, what I'm sensing is a lot of heavy um, energy around relationships. And you want to really spend time thinking about uh, how you feel in your relationships in your life, making sure that they're as healthy as possible. And if there's anything that doesn't feel good about a relationship, then this is also a time to think about if you want to stay in it, if you, how much energy you want to put in it, and if your partner's putting enough. So um, a feeling that the reciprocity definitely has to be there. And if it's not, then it's time to move on um, or it's time to bring something up to them. Let's look at the cards and see if uh, there's an additional message that comes through supplementary that could maybe add some depth to that. Shuffle one more time. And so we have the Princess of Wands card that came up and this is really about staying true to your vision, staying true to your ideals and um, if there's someone in your life that is forcing compromise in this, in this area or these areas, uh, this is about you knowing and understanding that it's okay like, to, to have a really strong opinion about something, especially if it's, if, it's very, if, it's, if it's affecting all parts of your life. And so trying to help this person see your point of view is gonna be very key. So that's kind of what's coming through. I see great uh, passion and, and and great thought power coming through this week and they're really intertwined and so if people in your life can't get behind what you're passionate about that's also sort of uh, I guess it's a, it's a warning sign and also a waking up point so um, take that and allow it to be your compass to decide what to do with relationships uh, Sagittarius one thing that I'd love for you to do the first thing I, I got this feeling of is uh, relaxation and I I think it was Gemini that I was talking about having fun. For you, this is different. Uh, for relaxation, it's actually more about getting the allotted sleep that you need each night, uh, self-care, uh, also about not, not necessarily immediately going to the stressful outcome when you're thinking about what the future could hold. Think about possibilities, think about opportunities, and try not to think about catastrophes or going to the yeah sort of a grim outcome i want you to stay as high and as heightened as you can when it comes to uh, your energy and your thought process this week and not to kind of go low and think about the stressful things that could come through for you this week um let's now take a look at the cards and see if they support that or if there's some additional uh shades of opportunity or meaning that comes through all right so love um, is one thing that's going to come through for many of you this week. So it's a chance for you to um, either connect with an existing relationship if you're already partnered, uh, a chance for you to be around friends and family or new love in your life, and also just a chance for you to do things that you love. So there is a little bit of similarity with Gemini, but for you, it's actually more self-focused. So uh, I want you to do something that is a, also just an expression of your heart. And that's more than having fun. This is really about following your passion. So if you have had this idea that, you know what, I really want to uh, learn how to climb a mountain, or um, I want to learn how to do water skiing or something, or you have a passion to, to write a book or to write a song or whatever it is and have that published, I want you to follow your passion and don't immediately think of it won't work or this can't happen. Just do it because it's an expression of your soul and it's going to, it's going to basically be this, it's almost like lava pushing everything up. If you're happy and you're feeling this flowing energy coming through, everything in your life gets a lift. So uh, it, it actually doesn't matter what happens with that sort of endeavor, that thing that you're doing because you love to do it. Everything else becomes um, heightened and energized and plussed up because of that. So I want you to be able to add joy, life, energy, and opportunity to everything by doing something that you love, okay? And now Capricorn. So I see you sort of at a corner right now in your life where you're going to have to think about if it's worth 
continuing on your present path. This is a very practical week for you. Um, and there's a very practical decision at hand. It's about uh, money security. And if this is sort of like, it, is it worth the trade-off of being where you're at? Uh, there's some, some risk and opportunity on the horizon for you. And it's not all gonna come through this week, but I think a lot of you might be thinking about what to do um, towards the end of this year. And so this is a week where you can kind of sit down and crunch numbers. It's very, very, uh, very good thing for Capricorns to do. You, you like having the information and knowing what's ahead and, and being very business oriented. But I feel like you're getting the support to back up what you've already decided to do. So go ahead and do that. But don't be afraid to also ask yourself, um, like have someone else come in and try to find where the idea may not work or, or check your logic. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are ready for a major change. And this is the week where you're going to look at the practicality of it and make sure that it suits you and that you're, you're okay with that. Let's look at the cards and see if they have anything to offer in, in the way of support or supplementary information. That I see that for many of you that this is going to end up okay, a-okay. Some of you might be considering starting a family um, because the Sun card is uh, often associated with children, with birth, with uh, genesis and, and new things coming forth, fr uh, fertility and, and fruitfulness. So I feel like if that's something you're looking for, it would be a big decision and it, there's also a lot of practical factors that we talked about, A-OK. -okay. can also be about adding to your family, it doesn't have to just be a child. Could be about getting engaged, could be about adding a pet. Um, and the other thing about this is, this is about your ability to attract good things through your charisma and your energy that you project out. So I want, I mean, I talk about this a lot, but our thoughts and our words and how we carry ourselves is a constant satellite broadcasting thoughts and energy to other people. And if we are in a place where we think positively about ourselves and we think positive thoughts in general, then we project that out and we attract other people that are sort of in the same frequency. So I want you to bring your frequency uh, to that place of I can, I will, and also think I am, I'm worth having a, this, this abundance come in, okay? So for Aquarius, clarity. I want you to do what you can to clear your mind this week. Um, pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to if you've been having a hard time sleeping or if there's been a lot of, of heaviness in your heart or in your mind. I want you to do whatever you can this week um, to clear it out whether that's taking a walk in your favorite place, um, talking to a friend that you haven't you know, picked up the phone and spoke to for a long time, uh, or, or just putting things on paper. And you know, this works for air signs, so this might work for you. Kind of like putting things in columns and thinking you're trying to decide about something as well. Sort of, we were talking about that for Capricorn, but for you, it's going to be a lot easier. There's going to just be a couple of trade-offs and you have to decide, you know, why am I worrying about this? Or, you know, is this something that I want to pursue? Um, but the other thing for clearing your mind, it can be more fun. This can be something where I really think clarity is going to come in a simple task like walking, running, jogging, um, you know, some form of exercise. Or for those of you that like to keep your hands busy, maybe you enjoy um, sewing, crochet, uh, working with puzzles, working with cards, uh, those types of mind games this week. Uh, will help you that are basically allowing you on one level to occupy yourself but on another level for things to kind of flush out or for you to it's like two levels of thinking so if you're working or m doing something with your hands your mind is going to be able to process what it needs i hope that makes sense um, let's pull a card now and see what additional or supplementary information comes through for you so aquarius uh, we got Ten of Swords in reverse. I really want you to pay attention to chronic pain or anything in your body that's not feeling good. Take care of yourself. You do a lot of taking care of others. This week, I want you to take care of yourself. Great for massage, acupuncture, acupressure, etc. Um, making sure that we talked about sleeping well, very, very key for you this week. And the other thing with this, I love that Swords is in, illustrated as being in the clouds in this deck, um, which is saying that a lot of your present stress is coming from your uh, reaction or perception to 
what's going on in your life. It's not necessarily as difficult or as heavy as it is feeling for you. It's just that you're really processing it in such a way that there's too much energy going into it. So take a deep breath, release some of that energy and, uh, and allow for yourself to, again, maybe through some of those activities we talked about, let go, okay? Finally, for Pisces, for some of you, this is a chance to peacefully resolve um, anything that's, if there's any sort of vendetta or argument or, uh, or hard feelings that you've been harboring, I feel like you're ready to just sort of like take a deep breath and move on. So I, I got the word peace. I also, with peace, I want you to focus on uh, creating a sense of serenity in your life, peacefulness in your surroundings, um, peacefulness in the type of um, friends and company that you're keeping and the music that you're listening to and the way you've, um, you know, basically created your schedule too if you have any control over that. So create harmony and peace in, in all that you do this, this week and I think that that's going to open up um, open up your energy so that you can basically uh, have a very productive August ahead of you, but also have a great week as well. All right, so your supplementary information is, yeah, you're going to be busy. We have Eight of Wands in reverse. I love Eight of Wands because there's really no negative connotation, whether it's upright or reverse. Um, it's about basically being on top of things. You're going to have this feeling of, can I keep up? That's the reversal. But I definitely see more of the upright energy coming through, even though it was reversed. Um, with it, with the eight of um, eight of wands, it's basically about how much how much do you want, how much how important are certain things in your life. If you're willing to let go of one thing and put more energy into everything else, I think that's going to really benefit you. Okay. And so that is it for the sign specific information for this week. Let's review your channeled information. We talked about that long distance run. I want you to pace yourself. Whether you're at the beginning or the end, you'll know whether to speed it up or slow it down accordingly. Uh, your blessing this month was to focus on feeling like you are under control, that you are protected, and then also to do the practical things necessary, both in you know locking the door, passwords, also meditation, protecting yourself and setting up guards. With um, any sort of disappointment in your life, Think about it from a different perspective. It actually might be something that's beneficial. A blessing in disguise is actually the message that comes through for the block for this week. And the highlights of this week really for me when I'm looking at it are Monday and Sunday for productivity, um, for when it comes to any sort of social endeavors, Thursday. Uh, when I'm looking at Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, it's looking all very, very productive. A lot of possibility to push things through uh, but this is more when you're going to do the work this is when you see the outcome and then the only really tricky day of the week is Tuesday when you need to focus on walking the high ground it's a time for you to stay focused and detached from drama uh, with all of that being said it was my pleasure and my honor to be able to read for you this week I hope you got the guidance that you needed and uh, I really appreciate your support from week to week and month to month so please keep up all the likes the subscribes and um, the support that you guys do in the comments. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to donate, there's a link uh, in the comment section. Actually, I'm sorry, in the description section below. So if you're moved to do so, fine. If not, that's okay as well. Uh, you can keep in touch with me on uh, social media. I have Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts. And also just redesign my website. You can also check that out if you have any questions or would like to book an appointment. And with that being said, I just want to say thank you and take care of yourselves. Wishing you love, abundance, and happiness as always, and that you have what it takes to, um, to make it through, to be diligent, and to make it to the finish line. All right, take care of yourselves. I'll see you again in a few days for the monthlies. Bye-bye.